no chemtrails. Kind of fluffy clouds. Okay, here's the story, right? About the uh, the guy in Minnesota that threw that little boy off the balcony at a shopping mall in Minnesota. They found out he's got ties to Chicago, which probably means gangs or something. He's not a very good person. He's a very terrible person. He's threatened other people to kill people in restaurants He's because he didn't pay his tab. So he threatened to kill or stab uh, a staff member in a restaurant. So that dude's had run-ins before. And they're probably not going to be too hard on him because he didn't kill the boy. But he's in critical condition. The little boy's in critical condition because of what happened, being thrown off the damn balcony. And they expect people to be cool with that, probably. That the little boy is going, might die. They're probably going to be easy on him. But he's got ties to Chicago, which means he probably has uh, a gang affiliation or something. But I think it's crap. And also, the Democrats probably aren't going to say anything about it if he, they find out he's a, a registered Democrat. Um, they're going to say, oh, he's a Trump supporter. No, he's not. I doubt it. I highly fucking doubt it. Then there was this woman who uh, was Columbine High School, uh, was fascinated with the killings over there, the shooting, and threatened the school again, and then she killed herself. And they're going to probably try to say that she's a Trump supporter, but I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing it's a patsy or something. I think it's just a setup to take our guns. Everyone else is saying it too. It's a setup, take our guns. And there's just a lot of crap happening in that that uh, church that burned down, that 800-year-old church in France. Um, a coincidence? I'd say not. And how they said it was just an accident the same night that it happened. How do they know so quickly that it was an accident? They don't know what caused it. They still need to check it out, investigate it. And their leader, Mr. Macron, or whatever the hell his name is, trying to trying to think that it's a game and it's funny. It's not funny because our history and our culture is being dismantled one piece at a time and that's how these communists work. And so communist socialists work. They destroy everything from within and then they take over and they take over our culture and they intimidate us and they take our guns away. That's what they're trying to do in our country. The other countries, yeah, they've already given up a lot of their freedoms and rights because they thought it was a good time, good reason at the time to do that. So that they could be more loving. But being loving means being stupid. That's what they're being. By letting all these foreigners in. And speaking of foreigners. They said the state of Arizona. The mayor of a, a nearby town in Arizona. A border town. Has declared a national emergency in his state. At least in his district. Because there's all these migrants coming in. They're being released. Due to asylum cases. There's too much, too many of them coming over. And he's hoping Trump will do something about this problem because it's getting out of hand. And I say they need to uh, declare martial law and send the military down there and control the situation and maybe even do a lockdown on everybody until they get it under control because it's going to become a very dangerous situation if they don't get it under control. Our, our government doesn't get this under control. It's not going to be good. And even these stinking celebrities who are so in love with migration and all that, they're going to be complaining too because they're not going to want it to be unsafe for them to go out either. So stick it up their asses, celebrities. You know, you're the ones who asked for this crap. And now we're all going to pay. You can't just let everybody over. That's not cool and that's not okay. That makes a very dangerous situation. So, and I'm not the only one saying it. But there's just a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. There's all these people running for president on the left saying Medicare for all and just it's completely nuts saying free stuff and we can barely pay our own bills. That's like adding another credit card on when you can't even pay your other credit cards off yet. You can't keep putting more on the tab. There's not enough to pay it off, to pay off the debts. There's just not enough to go around. It's just stupid. It's like taking every stray cat off the street. You can't do it. It's just too much. We can't pay for all of them. Someone else has got to help. Someone else needs to take on the burden, which is Mexico. If they're going to let those people come through their country to come into our country, then we cannot do any more trade with Mexico. But if Mexico wants to help hold them off, then fine. But if they don't, they're going to pay tariffs if they don't keep these people out of our, out of our country. And they need to hold them off. That's what I say.